I'm helping my friend and osteopath Mike Stadler to invest in stocks. And we came to the point where we said, how do we start this? Actually, it's not that difficult. Uh, I told him one of the most important things is actually to split the money he wants to invest and to only start with a really small amount. So in his case, I recommended, think about investing 2,000 francs each quarter. So it's 8,000 francs a year. And that for Mike Schnodler is not that high you know, number because he has to save for his retirement. He has to do everything himself. He doesn't have a pension fund. And with 2,000 francs each quarter, uh, you're not exposed to markets when they go down in to an excessive way. It means basically the amount that you can lose when the markets happen to go down right then when you start investing is not that big. And once you have decided that, what you need to do is you need to open a trading account uh, at a stockbroker. You find that online. You f search for online broker comparison, for instance. You're going to look for the broker that you like most that maybe has the best fees for you. But you also should always look to invest to use a broker that has cheap deposit costs because you're going to buy and hold. The trading costs are not actually that important for you. Um, and once you actually have opened that account, what you should do is you buy your first stock with 2,000 francs, for instance, and then look what happens. You know, and if you actually gain something, you haven't learned that much because everybody likes gains. But if you lose money, you can learn a lot about yourself. And that's actually important for stock investing. When you realize these losses really hurt and uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to sell it now because I lost something, then you have too much of a loss aversion and that means it's not good for you to do your own investing. Then you should actually look for a consultant. But if you realize that you know you can take the long perspective and you know this is just my first investment and just right now the market happened to go bad and I will invest again and you can actually live with temporary losses and gains and it's not that bad for you, then you have the skills needed to do your own investing. Good luck with it. Mm -hmm.